What is going on everybody? We are here on the latest version of full self-driving beta version 10.69 and Elon Musk says that it lives up to the hype. So a couple things I wanna go over here. So first of all, in the older versions, I was getting a lot of takeover, uh, takeover immediately warnings on unmarked roads like this dirt road. So I wanted to start here just for a little bit to see if I'm getting that. So, so far, looks pretty good. It usually would happen within just a few seconds. So uh, that's good and it's driving really nicely on the dirt roads. Uh, and then a couple of fun facts I wanna start off this video with. Uh, number one, if everybody watching this video subscribed, we would pass 100,000 subscribers today and I'd get a sweet silver plaque from YouTube to show my mom that I accomplished something in my life. So if you wanna help me out with that, hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Second of all, people are bullish about this release and I'm hearing Tesla will triple in 2022. So if you wanna get in on that action, it may be time. So here we go, our first left turn we're seeing and handled pretty much perfectly, a nice slowdown. Uh, we didn't, there were no cars there, so that was handled really nice. Let me put in our next destination here and then I will show you the release notes. So that's our next destination. So we're gonna slow down here because it's navigation complete, but once it gets the new route in, boom, it'll continue. So it brought us up to a new version. So we have the thicker, um, we have the thicker regen and acceleration bar, which is nice and some other improvements, but let's focus on uh, just beta today. We're getting an initial impressions, doing some driving around. And let me show you the release notes here. So if we go into software, yeah, this dirt road driving is awesome so far. And I'm so happy that it's not asking me to take over immediately because uh, it's funny that that last version, 10.12.2, uh, was really good at driving on dirt roads. I actually got my first no intervention dirt road drive on my way home from work with that version, but then it had that bug where it just continually asked me to take over immediately. So this driving, this is beautiful. This is perfect. This is exactly the way I would be driving on a dirt road right now. I mean, this is so good. So let me go through. I'm just gonna scroll these really slowly. If you wanna read them, go ahead and pause. There is a lot here. Um, I've seen a couple things. I watched Chuck's video. It looks like his unprotected lefts are doing well, at least in, so we're slowing for this going uphill here, at least in uh, low traffic for him. So that's nice. Uh, and I, what I'm really loving is there's now a creep bar. It kind of shows you on the display here um, where it's gonna creep up to. So we're gonna check that out. So let's skip, this is, This part's pretty boring. It looks like that bug is gone, so I'm happy to see that. All right, moving up to the stop sign here. Let's see if we get our little creep vision here. Let me make this bigger so we can see uh, where it's gonna creep up to. I would love for it to show me that because this turn is very difficult. Cross traffic is going about 50 to 60. So there we go, that's where it would creep to. That looks pretty good to me, a little far out, and boom, there's nobody there. So it does take that turn. Now this turn in the past, a lot of times it would say, uh, stopped due to high-speed cross traffic, press accelerator or gear stock to continue, and I would have to kind of confirm that. Well, this time you can see the car did it all by itself uh, really well there. Alrighty, so we're moving into downtown here, and I will tell you, I passed a speed limit sign, a lower speed limit sign, and the car did preemptively change the max to the lower speed limit, but it still took a very long time to get down to 25 miles per hour. So that's not fixed yet. Whoops, I bumped that. Um, so yeah, they really need to fix that. You gotta be going that speed limit when you pass the sign. So a few other things. We're on 10.69. Elon said that soon 10.69.1 will come out and that'll go to some more people. And then he thinks that 10.69.2 will be a much wider release and go to a lot more people. On top of that, so we're taking this left turn. Let's see how it does. So this left turn has always been decent. Well, not always, but lately has been decent, but then would stop here and boom, perfectly handled. So it used to stop right here every single time until I think the last version actually. So that looked good. So he wants to raise in two weeks in the beginning of September, full self-driving price from 10,000 or $12,000 to $15,000. Proposal. I'm like, what is going on? This better be like perfect here, okay? This better be doing everything and I better be doing nothing because that is a crazy amount of money. But that's not what this video is about. Maybe we'll talk about that in the future. So we stop again, loving this creep limit um, little thingy here that it's showing. Sorry, I'm messing with the graphics. So we creep up to see there is a car coming. Boom, and we stop immediately. Now there are some trees to our left that I think was blocking the view for a bit. And now this person, there's nobody, we can go. And the car slowly moves up a little bit more and boom, we go through. So I, I love, love, love that creep uh, animation there the creep limit because it was always kind of a big deal where where I was concerned if the car was going to stop or not if it's still creeping and I'm sure that's why they added it they probably got a lot of feedback of people pressing the brake uh, I got to go through this light first of pressing the brake and then seeing the data that the car wasn't going to go anywhere so they're giving us a little more confidence in that so that's really nice so this version has is a big code rewrite i guess they got rid of a lot of old stuff and so because of those big changes um elon was saying they were just a tiny bit concerned wanted to make sure you know, everything was safe before they rolled it out to too many people i haven't seen anything i haven't heard anything bad yet um my drive so far nothing you know out of the ordinary so that's good um, this is my first drive so uh, we are on assertive unless it changed my settings let me look here while we wait for this three-way stop with lots of traffic thank you that's 
that's awesome. We are unassertive, so that's good. That's what I want to do. Um, yep, stay in the left turn lane. Don't move to the right here. And let's see. So we will creep up here to our stop sign. And after that truck, it is our turn. And if the Tesla's not aggressive enough, boom, that, that was good, that was good. Okay, so it didn't get confused by anyone else rolling up or anything, so that, that stop sign was handled perfectly. Sometimes if other people, um, other people are just too aggressive, assertive, I should say, and the Tesla just takes too long, even though it's doing the right thing, making the complete stop, and they just kind of cut it off. So moving through downtown here, we'll have some people. We can see that person's displayed. Is their dog displayed? Uh, yep, I saw their dog for a split second there. And moving a uh, nice speed here. Not getting confused, that was another part of the release, release notes, more accurate um, the, uh, prediction of where a pedestrian is going to go when they're near a crosswalk. And I do believe that uh, the uh, this looks like all the graphics are a lot more solid now, which is awesome. Um, because, man, if you, like, when version 10 was first released, maybe I can pop something on the screen for you if I can find it fast enough um, in, in, while I'm editing. The... Um, Graphics on this used to just be a mess all over the place, and now they just look so beautiful. And that is uh, kind of showing the confidence of the car and what it's seeing and, and how confident it is that it's correct. So awesome job moving into this left turn lane, love that. And we have uh, blinking yellow, so we can go, but we have to yield. Now you should move into the intersection. So this is already like, I don't like that. And it is good to go. Let's see, you gonna do it? Waits for the green, and still slow. <laughs> All right, real slow moving through there, but uh, at least it was safe. It did move through, um, and I, I was hoping it would go while it was yellow because it was clear, but the car was just too cautious there. So coming up to our next one, let me switch us here. So even as recently as the last version, doing this reroute has tripped the car up because it takes it a while to figure out, I don't know what that error was, um, where it wants to make this left. And so see, it's getting confused. So that's why I keep this in here because it gets confused. And so it's stopping and now it's continuing. No one was behind us, so I kind of let it do it. So you're gonna take this left? Yeah, so it still gets gets tripped up by me um, changing the direction there, but it's not normal. So now we're just gonna sit here kind of awkwardly. So let's skip this red and see if it can uh, fix itself here. So unfortunately I'm blocking the people behind me. So I'm just gonna move out of the way, which that is a disengagement, that is a takeover. Let me turn it back on here, and it should wait for this cross traffic. So yeah, that was definitely a screw up. It, it's me kind of messing with the system, but still, it it should be able to you know do what it's gonna do here. And whoa, what are you doing? Oh, now reroutes to the right? Um, no, <laughs> so I just need to take over here. I have no idea why it made that reroute. So yeah, we still have some quirks here. Still have some quirks, and that's why you keep your hands on the wheel. So I will take that left for us, and I will turn it back on, and let it reroute itself. Very strange. I'm not sure I've seen that behavior before. Um, with a reroute like that. And so again, it misses its turn. Again, that's why I put that in there and, and kind of pull that one up the way I do because I want to see how it's handling this reroute. So back in the day, a long time ago, if you haven't been watching that long, the system used to, if you would reroute in the middle of a drive, it would just totally lose its mind and like in a real bad way. If you go watch those videos, it would sometimes just tell you to take over, which is fine. That's fine. But sometimes it would just whip the wheel in a random direction. It would do all kinds of crazy stuff. So it's improved, but we still have issues here with rerouting um, that hopefully can be, be fixed. Now, to be fair, I don't see this issue in my normal daily driving because I don't normally randomly reroute. But in my opinion, it's still something it should be able to handle. So nice left there. And it looks like we are continu continuing along okay now that we're on our route. All right, so we have our left turn here. We do have a pedestrian. He is obviously green there, or blue. I don't know why I said green. And the car is waiting and waiting, and now it can go. He was not even in the crosswalk, but the Tesla still did a good job of, of waiting for him. Of course, I would hope so. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna go into some back roads here, a little bit of residential. All right, so approaching our right turn into this neighborhood here, and then we are going to go, oh wow, that, that was good. It kept the speed up, that was really good. So old, older versions, it would slow down way too early. And again, it's gonna be preference, but for me, it was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't wanna wait for this. Um, so that was really nice. And then again, doing fine with these barely painted lines here. Um, they, they're actually displayed pretty decently for how faded they are. Uh, but so, okay, let me put in a next destination. I wanna go to a roundabout here. So we're gonna have, head over to this roundabout. We'll do the full roundabout and uh, see how it's handling that. They've been pretty good, 
but uh, you know, there's still some of them are, are not that great. But for the most part, they've they've been really good. Uh, it's actually smaller roundabouts, not for whatever reason, are not as good for me. And then uh, I want to to wrap this up. I want to do a few unprotected lefts. So we stop. I guess this is kind of an unprotected left, and we move through. So again, I don't I don't know. That was good. That was good. I, I could say it's a little bit awkward, but the steering wheel wasn't you know swinging around like we've still been seeing even in the version uh, one before this. Actually, that's something now that I'm thinking about it. The steering wheel has been really good. Um, so there's our creep line. So it wants to creep pretty far out. Now there are cars and trees to the right and left. So it makes sense. And this is a good spot. I mean, it went right to that creep line and then continued. That was really good. I actually really liked that. We got a right turn here. We'll need to do some creeping so we can see our creep line again. Let me make this big so we can really see it. And there is a car coming. If the car would have really stepped on it, we could have went, but... So now I got to stop because it looked like it was... I don't know. I wasn't looking at the graphic. But like, I was definitely not comfortable with how far out it went and, and there was a car coming. So that's not good. And that was wide open. I mean, if I, if I show you this, this camera, there's nothing there. There was nothing obstructing my view. So, you know, you could say maybe I just wasn't, uh, like the car was gonna be fine, it was gonna stop, but that was kind of my limit of where I was gonna allow it. And I'm looking to the left to, to watch that person approaching. I can't see if that graphic is there or not at that time um, to see if it's still creeping or, or what it's thinking. All right, so we need to move into this left turn lane. Pretty good there. Amazon's broken down or parked or something. So this person's going, the person in front of us is going around the Amazon van and we need to stay here. Um, I would definitely kind of skirt past them, but the car doesn't want to. So it waits, we have a green, so I wish it would go, okay, this is fine. I was gonna say, I wish it would go a little quicker, but this is perfect. And we move through, very smooth. So very, very smooth. Now with the last maneuver, uh, I, I meant to say this in the beginning, but I'm gonna cut them a little slack with this one. When they do these code rewrites and things, that's why they're doing, a small push and then kind of fix in whatever they find and then a bigger push because you do get regressions when they do these big code rewrites, but the ceiling for the code now should be much better than what it was before. So my drives on the last version, I had a little stint there where they weren't very good, but they were awesome. I mean, I was having no disengagement drives left and right. I mean, no kidding. Um, a lot of interventions. I still press the accelerator a lot, but that's just me because I'm impatient. Um, so yeah, but I'm cutting them slag on this one, and then, you know, dot one and dot two should, should be much, much improved. So here, here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it says speed limit's 25, but we're going 30. Now we're going 29. It just, it takes, takes far too long. Uh, let's see how it handles the blinking yellow. Usually that can be a little awkward. So that's as good. This is good. No turn on red. Don't care about that. Blinking yellow, straight through. Perfect. Exactly what I want to do. So going for the roundabout here, let's see. It's clear we can sail right through. Wow. Yes, let's do it. That was perfect. That was really nice. Ooh, road closed. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let's let it go. Come on, I know you guys got road closed figured out now. So it's trying to change lanes. Oh, it says away from path blockage. Hey, that's a new that's a new sign. All right, I'm gonna take over here because there's there's people I don't want to be messing with. Um, but that was definitely a new a new. Um, wordage we had not heard before path blockage so really nice i'm doing something totally illegal here but you know what it's for the subs guys that's what it's for that person's turning left we are turning right here and we're gonna go back around this roundabout we're gonna go all the way around just because that's the destination i have set so you're gonna reroute or what are you gonna do here it's not rerouting so i need to stop there because <laughs> it felt like it was gonna fly right through uh all right well we still have some quirks this is why it's not wide release um, but you know, it's one of those things where if somebody's paying attention, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, let's do it again. I want to do the roundabout one more time. All right, let's get this reroute in there. I'm just going to go. Okay. It's got it already. That's good. Nice and fast. So yeah, it's still got some, some, some takeovers here that are pretty basic. Again, you guys might be, you know, picky. Um, I mean, that's good. Be picky, but I'm cutting them a little slack when, um, we get the rewrites, the code rewrites, and then uh, the dot ones and dot twos is when I'm going to be more picky. But uh, so, okay, <laughs> I was going to say that was really good. One little steering wheel weirdness there. I'll, I'll uh, tag for them. But yeah, so it did the roundabout, but it uh, did not seem like it wanted to stop for the car that was in the roundabout. Again, if, if I would have waited another half second, maybe it was going to, you know, just stop really aggressively, but I'm, I'm not playing that game. All right, so I wanted to go through this triple stop sign one more time because there's a decent amount of traffic here. And then I'm gonna find a spot to try a few unprotected lefts. Although uh, I didn't um, like the way the car has been kind of interacting with other vehicles so far. Seems like it's ignored them what well, we've seen twice on this drive, once or twice. So that's uh, it's not great. Okay, so this will be interesting. So we have green, 
but the road's kind of full of people and blocked, so I'm not sure what the car will decide to do here. Um, and, I mean, this is an unprotected left as well. Oh, so that guy has walk, so yeah, the car's got to stop for him, but he's trying to go because we've been waiting here. And now it's clear to go. And you can do it. You can do it. Jeez. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. Maybe it's those people were walking towards the intersection. We're just going so slow, like... Still so slow, like what is happening? <laughs> I don't know, it's really waiting. All right, I'll report it. Uh, yeah, uh, routing with no traffic data, what is going on? Um, I don't know, well, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So we're gonna do this uh, triple stop sign again. Maybe just so many pedestrians, the car's being super careful, I'm not, I'm not really sure. All right, so here we go, approaching the stop sign. Stupidly, <laughs> come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Move up to the line, there you go. And now it's our turn. And we're moving through. We're moving through. All right, so the move through and all of that was good. It's just the approach was a little a little timid, a little strange, all that. So let me, all right, let me set up for some unprotected lefts and then we'll call it. All right, here we go. So first unprotected left here. Let's try it out. We're in kind of the downtown area. It's pretty open, I think. I haven't really made this turn much myself. Yeah, you can see to the left and right pretty well. There are some parked cars to the left uh, and to the right as well. And you can see there's a decent amount of traffic. So let's see what happens. So that human had their back tires past the first stop line and we're stuck. What are you doing? <laughs> you move up? All right, I didn't touch anything. The car just like took its sweet time moving up here. So I, where's my wall? I can't look because, all right, there's my creep wall. That's pretty far out there. That is pretty far out there. But if you go, you're good. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this guy. Now, to me, this feels way too far out, but I, I need I need a drone view. <laughs> Maybe it's not too far out. Okay, now you gotta go. All right, so it, it did push through once it once it got there, but that felt too far out. Now, of course, we had somebody drive by. He was fine. He he drove by, no problem. Um, but it felt like the creep was just a little too far. So let's try it again. All right, here we go. Start it back here. We don't have somebody in front of us this time, so we'll see where the car wants to stop. All right, so we do make it up to the stop line, and we got lots of cars to the left, one to the right. So we're creeping out. We do not need to creep out that much. I mean, we can kind of clearly see. I mean, I guess because the B-pillar camera, if I put my head along the headrest, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I can still see perfectly fine. Um, yeah, lots of cars both directions, so let's uh, give it a minute. I mean, according to this graphic, that creep wall is like in the road. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's pretty far. All right, so now we have someone who needs to turn left in front of us. Let's see if we're in their way at all. I think they can easily make this left turn. Yep, so no problem there. So that's good. That means our position's not too bad. And I think we, we could have uh, moved forward on that one. There was definitely a big enough gap, but the car just doesn't want to. It's just gonna continue to wait. Okay, so after this Jeep, there is nobody. And it looks like the car can see that. And it creeps more. You gotta go, you gotta go. All right, pressing the accelerator. I think we're too far out. So I gave it a tap and then the car moved out and, and slowed itself down. So yeah, that, man, I don't know. That wasn't that great. <laughs> that was not that great. All right, the car didn't reroute yet, so I don't know how that's gonna affect it, but oh well, here we are. So we stop, we actually could go right now, but there are now cars coming from the right, so now we can't. So the car is slowing, it does see them. After this black car to the right, we should, we could go. If the car would like blast it, it would go. But nope, it's gonna go way too slow, and so it's gonna allow, like it's gonna miss this gap here. Are we at the wall now? All right, we are at the creep wall. So now go, blast it. I'm pressing it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right. I gotta get home and edit this. Uh, okay. So if I, uh, hold on, hold on one sec. All right. So heading home, final thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It's never going to be. That's, that's my opinion. Um, but they did talk a big game about this. Um, the, the people working on this are, are talking a big game saying with what they have set up here, it's not finished, but what they've set up as they progress towards their goal, they can basically create an uncrashable car. Like car crashes will just be like plane crashes, like what? That never happens, right? Or it is extremely rare. So they need to now refine this code they've sent to us. And all of these disengagements I've done, the data will go back, the, the buttons I pressed, all that, and, and they can work on it. Now that's, you know, whatever. That's that's one thing people can, can complain. People can be understanding of that. I'm decently understanding. I understand it's a, a huge problem and, and really difficult. Um, and the driving mechanics outside of those, you know, trickier things I tried felt really good. So smoothness was there. I'm very happy my dirt roads work now. So here's another unprotected left as I'm talking. Uh, I'm very happy my dirt roads work now because the car's very good at them now. Uh, and 
It doesn't crash. And then what was the other thing? Uh, Oh, the, the little creep animation, the wall it shows you. I love, absolutely love that. That helps me a lot, especially with those unprotected lefts we just tried that um, it didn't do very well with. But it helped me kind of have confidence that I didn't need to do anything until I did. Um, so after this truck, we should go, this pickup, and go. There you go. A little delay, a little delay. That's like old beta used to delay like that. Um, whereas last version, it kind of like would preemptively start to move as the last car came up. So overall, like cool, cool build. Um, I'm more looking forward to the next point releases we're going to see. I'm hoping that they can really refine these mistakes we've seen here. Uh, there will be more videos on this version coming up of even more difficult things than we did here. Let's see if the car can handle it or not. Uh, and then when those point releases come as well, I will really be pushing the car. I'm, you know, I'm not holding anything back here. Like I'm just showing you. So you can make your judgments off of what I've showed you today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have questions, suggestions, leave those down below. I'd love to talk to you down there. And you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video.